a poem for Jose Campos Torres. I had said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this. I had confessed to myself all along, tracer of life, poetry, trends, that awareness, consciousness, poems that screamed of pain and the origins of pain and death had blanketed my tablets, and therefore my friends, brothers, sisters, in-laws, outlaws, and besides, they already knew. But Brother Torres, common ancient bloodline Brother Torres, is dead. I had said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this. I had said I wasn't going to write no more words down about people kicking us when we're down, about racist dogs that attack us and drive us down, drag us down and beat us down. But the dogs are in the street. The dogs are alive and the terror in our hearts has scarcely diminished. It has scarcely brought us the comfort we suspected. The recognition of our terror and the screaming release of that recognition has not removed the certainty of that knowledge. How could it? Dogs, rabid, foaming with the energy of their brutish ignorance, stride the city streets like robot gunslingers and spread death as night lamps flash crude reflections from gun butts and police shields. I had said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this. But the battlefield has oozed away from the stilted debates of semantics beyond the questionable flexibility of primal screaming. The reality of our city, jungle streets and their Gestapos has become an attack on home, life, family, philosophy, total. It is beyond the question of the advantages of didactic niggerisms. The motherfucking dogs are in the street. In Houston, maybe someone said Mexicans were the new niggers. In L.A., maybe someone said Chicanos were the new niggers. In Frisco, maybe someone said Orientals were the new niggers. Maybe in Philadelphia and North Carolina, they decided they didn't need no new niggers. I had said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this, but the dogs are in the street. It's a turnaround world where things are all too quickly turned around. It was turned around so that right looked wrong. It was turned around so that up looked down. It was turned around so that those who marched in the street with Bibles and signs of peace became enemies of the state and risk to national security so that those who questioned the operations of those in authority on the principles of justice, liberty, and equality became the vanguard of a communist attack. It became so you couldn't call a spade a motherfucking spade. Brother Torres is dead. The Wilmington 10 are still incarcerated. Ed Davis, Ronald Reagan, James Hunt, and Frank Rizzo are still alive, and the dogs are in the motherfucking street. I had said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this. I made a mistake.